higher uh, amperage. There are a few things to consider when connecting the wires from the motors to the drivers from the machine. This is always under motion, so you want to make sure that the wires are safe from you know, pulling out of the, the motor. Uh, you also want to make sure that the slack of wires will not ever come close to the, to the surface of the machine. So you want to try to confine the, the wires and try to confine the, the wires in a way that um, you'll be able to get the full reach of motion from the wires, but the wires are confined to the point where they're only able to do the full reaches of the motion. We'll be using a lot of wire ties to, to help with this, and we'll also be using conduit, uh, flexible conduit around the, the wires. What I've done already is I've taken the cable and I've wired the cable um, to the wires according to the data sheet. Uh, this cable that I have ha is actually numbered. Each, each cable inside is one, two, three, and then there's a yellow one. And I used one as A plus, two as A minus, three as B plus, and the yellow one for the B minus. And you just have to look at your data sheet for the motor that you have uh, to be able to find out which, which uh, wires go to which one. And um, it's also important to wire them in bipolar parallel mode if the power supply is um, running at low um, voltage and higher uh, amperage. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, secure this wire in a way that it won't be ever pulling on. I'm going to take the wire and give it some slack and wire tie it at that point. So as much as you pull down, it's not going to affect this point. Now I'm going to want to secure this wire in a way that it won't be pulling on here, but there really isn't much you can hang this wire on. So I might just put a wire tie around the entire motor. Even though the motor gets a little hot, it's probably not going to be hot enough to, to melt the insulation of the wire. So I'll probably use two of these. Next, I'm going to want to secure this wire. So there really isn't anything to, to hang this wire on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these and wrap it around the motor. I'll probably have to get three of these. Yeah, I'll probably get three. And then just secure it against the, the housing of the motor. The motor is going to get a little hot, but it's not going to get hot enough to melt these wires. So it should be, should be fine. Now this wire is not going to be stressed. Stress. It might actually, from going back and forth, might want to do another. Now I'm going to take a smaller wire tie and just wire tie it here so it ensures that it's not going to go anywhere. If you do it tight enough, it's not going to move. When you pull this, it won't be able to go past this wire tie. So now I'm going to tie these together. Make sure that the make sure that the um, the z-axis is at its highest point. Give it a little bit more slack. We know that this, there's a, quite a bit of slack here. And to minimize the slack, um, I really don't want to adhere it to the corner. The halfway point is probably the best location to, to mount this part of the wire. So when you go, when you move the, the y-axis all the way, will be able to go all the way to the other end and still be attached to this location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple holes here to add a wire tie and to mount this. Because you, you could also mount it on the, the back panel, but you may need to remove the back panel every now and then to get at the, uh, the motor for, for whatever reason. Okay, so the first thing I did was I took all the wires and I put it around this side. My electronics is going to be on this side of the machine. And I'm going to find the general center Give it a little bit of slack like that. And then I'm going to take two holes and drill them right here. Okay, now I'm going to take a wire tie and secure the wires at the midpoint and then test the motion to make sure that it's able to secure, make sure it's able to go all the way on the other side. Give it a little bit more slack. Okay, good. You'll notice that the slack never gets below the bottommost point of the, the gantry, so we're clear. You can tighten this up a little more, and later we'll, we'll be putting a conduit around this area. We also want to secure the wire here along the back part of this uh, gantry, uh, and we'll be drilling a couple holes to secure it along this area, and then coming down the, the gantry side.
The most appropriate place to have the wires secure um, coming down the gantry side would be in this location. That way it will be clear of the, the roller chain and then it can just hang down and uh, be connected to the, uh, to, the, to the electronics. I'm just going to make one hole so I don't do too much damage to this. Probably set it along the edge here, which will give it a little bit more clearance for the uh, for the wires. So that's secure, and now they can be plugged into the electronics, and then the flexible conduit can be. I will also need to take this router power cable and route it up to this point. I'll just use a wire tie for that, and also make sure that the z-axis is at the topmost point. And I'm going to also fasten it here. I'm going to need to route the router power cable through all of these wire ties and it's good that I use the ones that can be you know. an extension cord will also be needed for the router um, we connect it to this point I'm going to test it again just to make sure that I have enough slack Once we get the conduit on, this will remain out of the way in most cases. I'm going to use flexible conduit. It looks like this. And as I do this, I'm going to start putting up the uh, cable ties so these stay put. I'm putting more on before and after this part splits off here. This is where I cut it. But first I'm going to put on <coughs> wire tie every now and then so it keeps closed. You don't want to put them too many places because these won't be able to snag on parts of the machine. You want to run it back and forth just to make sure that it does not snag on anything. And also position these around. So let's test the motion all the way. Still have slack, is good. That's fine. Once the cables are connected to the electronics, as per the, uh, the videos, you could, you'll probably, well, probably want to secure this in a location so it doesn't pull on any of these. So you can use the same technique that we used before, using a wire tie, maybe you know this location or whatever location you can find on your machine. I'm going to try to get to the midpoint, and it looks like this is pretty much a midpoint here. And I'm going to. I can aim it either down or up, probably down like this. Here's another wire tie. Give it a little bit of slack. And then test the machine's overall motion. Make sure that there's no snags and the wires are long enough. So that's good. This position is fine. Now I'll most likely put a bunch of um, wire ties over here just to keep these together. I'm probably not going to put conduit on this point, on this portion. <laughs> 